based on a true story, and since I'm from North Carolina, and uh, a lot of my friends are still here, I tell them, and a lot of them remember it. My parents remember it, and uh, I vaguely remember it. So I just say that it's a, it's a heist movie that took place in uh, 1997 about a guy that was kind of desperate and did what a lot of us may do or think about doing if we're in that kind of predicament. I think there was a lot of nerve um, in this story, a lot of nerve from from the, the people that orchestrated it and the fact that there's kind of a bit of a tinge of, uh, of a romantic story too, I think kind of makes it different. Uh, when I first met David, we went to lunch in California, and we sat down, and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a very gentle, nice guy, but he's different than he was back then. He was rambunctious back then, he told me. And, you know, when you're in your early 20s, not that most of us have the uh, thought of, you know, taking $17 million, David will tell you, you know, he was tempted. He just, he just was making eight dollars an hour and having 20 million dollars in the in the back of his of his truck so we talked about temptation and we talked about you know the fact that that, that he had this kind of a rough start beginning of, of a life you know who's this you know we don't know what we would say if we were in that predicament it's a terrible decision on David's part and I think that David um, sees that I think the sweetness of the character is kind of borrowed from David a little bit um, because I, I find him to be sweet and, you know, somewhat even innocent in a, in a way that just kind of got wrapped up in a, uh, you know, in a, in a bad idea. And I think we're all guilty of, of being wrapped up in bad ideas. I think uh, young young men and women can be tempted by uh, the opposite sex, sometimes the same sex, and uh, it just uh, it confuses things. And when the heart starts playing into it, then your rationale leaves. And I think that's 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 what happened: is the heart and the passion overtook the common sense. I've known Kristen because I've worked with her before on other things, but I really um, got to know her working on this. She's the goofiest lady in the greatest way. She's so unafraid to try things. Um, and I think Kristen brings a, you know, she's a good actress, so I've, a lot of comedians are seen as just being funny, but uh, it's nice when, when they can when, when, when you can see him do both. And um, I think working with Kristen was probably the, as far as working with another actor, I've never been more delighted. She's, we, we, we clicked. Thank God, because it's the worst when you don't. I look at some of the wardrobe of this movie and then I kind of go, oh, I wear those clothes sometimes still. Are they making fun of me? As a stand-up comedian, I I think the best thing to do is just have a microphone and nothing behind you, so people can concentrate. And I feel like that Jared does that, and he's also subtle. You know, there's subtleties and small things. Comedy, American comedies, can be really loud and bad language, and that's that's people love it. I feel like that's becoming hacky now. All the cursing and stuff. Jared and I agree on that. We can make that. We can make jokes without. Yeah, Kristen and I, it was, it was, we were working, I think, on one in the morning, and, you know, people want to go home. They have kids to go to. Kristen and I got the giggles. 
like you do if you attend a church where you're not supposed, it is the greatest thing. And I'm 44 and I shouldn't, it's unprofessional to laugh at one in the morning with, you know, the other actor. And I was trying to play the um, disciplinarian. And I tried to say to Kristen, Kristen, it's one in the morning, try to be professional to make it look like it was her fault, but I couldn't stop laughing while I said it. So it totally messed everything up. Did you know that in The Revenant, Leonardo DiCaprio, a convinced vegetarian, was so in character, he ate real raw meat in a scene depicting glass surviving off a wild bison sliver. <laughs> yeah. Click here for more videos. See you soon, bye.